What's up, wonderful, amazing, sweet and lovely people. How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day today and I hope you're not letting anybody steal your joy. Welcome to Mariam's Joyful Life. Today is a beautiful day. Thank you all so much for joining me. You are appreciated, every one of you. I just wanna say thank you for sticking with me throughout this series. It has been one amazing series and I am very proud of myself. You know why? I know I've said it throughout the videos because I'm doing something great and I'm sticking with it and I'm committing to it and I'm staying devoted to it till it is finished, till we complete it. I have been here every day for the past 27 days coming with the word. And for me, that is amazing. So I give glory to God for that. And for those of you who have been watching every episode, those of you who haven't missed an episode, thank you so much for keep coming. Thank you for keep watching. Is that how you say it in English? Thank you for coming. Thank you for, for watching. And thank you for staying inspired and connected. Because I know every word, every word that we receive is transformational stuff. And that is why I'm here. I glorify God because I know that as these words come out of my mouth, they bless me and they also bless you. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys. Today is day 27. Like I said, it's the 27th episode. Woohoo! What? God is so faithful. I am so thankful and I'm glad that you are here today. I know you're not here by mistake and I know God has a word for you today. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe and be a part of my channel. This channel here is a positive channel. We believe in God. We believe in the power of God and we know that there is no situation in life that God cannot change. So I'm super excited to be making these videos. I'm super excited to stay, for staying committed and hopeful that God is using this for something amazing in your life as well as in my life. All right, let's go into the video. Today's topic is spending time alone with God. Do you ever take out time alone with God? Just by yourself, contemplating, asking God questions, calling on God, just focusing on the magnificence and amazingness of God. Do you ever spend time alone doing that? Well, we're gonna be talking about this today. Our focus verse is Psalm 63, verse 1 through 6. And I'm using the Gideon Bible, Gideon version. Psalm 63, verse 1 through 6. Here's what the Bible says. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, Beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as, as with fat and rich food. And my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. This is the word of God for us today. Why is it important for us to take our time to contemplate and just glorify God, just reflect on God? The reason for me why it's important is when we go about our day, mingling with a lot of people, communicating, you know, through relationships and just going, navigating through life, a lot happens, all right? You get, you get in an argument with some, you get in a disagreement with some, Maybe you enjoy the company of others. Whatever it is, a lot happens whenever you're going about your day. And one of the major thing is we get flustered or we get confused about the things that we can't control. And if these things seem difficult, too difficult for us, and everybody we have tried to consult does not seem to have the right answer for us, we tend to feel like it is over or it is impossible. But that is because we filled up our tank with all kinds of negativity. We've allowed ourselves to dwell on whatever it is that is not going right, on the negative energy. And everybody that we come around has an energy to them. If their energy is not lifting you up and keeping you hopeful, it is bringing you down and keeping you in despair. So you have to be very watchful of the kind of energy that you put yourself around, the kind of people you come around. So. Sometimes some people may come to you, you know, the, 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 the look of them, right? They may look like they are for you. 
through their words. But your spirit tells you something different. And then when you walk away from them, you feel down. You feel like there was something off about them, right? It happens. In those times, when we take on a lot of information through our mingling, like in these days, nobody mingles anymore. The government says it is a crime because of coronavirus. But even if we don't mingle in the physical anymore, when we mingle in the cyberspace, which is social media, watching the news and these movies, there is a lot of transaction going on. These transactions you may not be aware of with your physical senses, but spiritually there is so much going on. You are shifting your attention to different things. And if you never turn off all of those noises to put yourself behind, you know, just say, you just shut the door and just hide behind the closed doors. Only you, your spirit and God, just focusing on God and on the silence instead of replaying the movies of everything that happened during the day. What happens is your life become tumultuous, tumultuous. It becomes stormy because you're contemplating all kinds of negative thoughts, all kinds of negative events and scenarios that could possibly or be not possibly or could possibly or has possibly happened. The reason why it's necessary for us to take out time for ourselves in order to just focus on the magnificence, the presence, the peace, the joy, just the knowledge of God and just knowing that God is here for us and God is never far away and in God there is peace, there is love, there is all the answers that we need. Is because we need it. We can never survive this world without connecting ourselves to God, drawing close to God and, and taking time out from all the noise, all the activity. We need to retract, step back and spend time just giving praise to God. Standing in awe of the, of the magnificence, of the greatness of God who created the stars, the moon, the sky, everything that you see. Things that human hands cannot create. You begin to contemplate what kind of a creator could do all of these things. And you, start, you get excited about this because you know this very creator who did all of these things, who is still doing more, is in you, for you, and with you. In fact, the Bible says you were created in the image and the likeness of this very creator. So it is very important to turn off the news, turn off the noise, separate yourself from the crowd and from gossiping and from just hanging out too much. Even if you're hanging out with the right crowd, you still need to separate yourself and let it be a time for you and God. For me, it's very necessary because I can feel people's energy. I can see their intentions. Sometimes people will lie with their words, but for me, they cannot, I, I see beyond that. So all that energy is still coming at me, right? And plus, I am still human, okay? There are some things that will also upset me. But for me, when I come to realize that the peace that surpasses all understanding is already in me, and the way that I get myself in balance, in shape again, is to separate myself from all that noise, turn it all off, and just focus on God. And just contemplate and glorify God for all that God has already done. This really helps me. So it is important for you to take out time separate yourself and be in the silence with God. All right. Spending time alone with God. Now our anchor scripture is Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30. Here's what the Bible says. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Living life every day, going about your activities, hanging out and communicating with different people and things every day can become burdensome when if that's all you do and you never rest from it, it becomes very burdensome. So even before you go about your activity, your day, make it a habit to spend time alone with God. They call it quiet time. They call it meditative time where you meditate on God. You meditate on the peace, the joy, the love, the power of God. You shield yourself with the light of God before you go and face all the demons and the evil spirits out there who are just after your energy to steal your life force or to destabilize you. Nobody can ever steal your life force, which is God in you. Nobody can steal it, but you can be blinded, blindfolded and deceived to focus on the outside and, 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 and effects instead of the cause, which is within. All right. So that is the word for us for today. Spending time alone with God is very necessary. 
Okay, now our affirmation for the day, which we get from all my books. For those of you who are not aware, these books are available for you at www.myramstreffelofapparel.com. You can check them out to support me. All right, day 27. I am unique. I don't blend in the background. My uniqueness is amazing. I am unique. We get this from Jeremiah 1 verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. God knows you. You want God, when God sees you, God doesn't see everybody. God sees just you. And God wants to have a personal relationship with you. And you are important. God would not say he knew you before you were formed if you were just somebody God doesn't care about. So quit comparing yourself to people who you think they got it all together and got the things that you want and you've been struggling for so long and you ain't got it. Don't do that. The more you focus on the fact that you've been struggling so long and somebody else who doesn't deserve it has it, the more you will wallow in hardship and all the things you don't want will just continue to happen. But if you can give thanks for where you are, knowing that as long as you're alive and the God who kept you alive to this day will transform your life and give you good things in your life, then it will happen. And that's it. It will happen. So my prayer for you today is that you will focus on the power of God. You will separate yourself from all the noise. And that also includes the hardship, the setbacks, the disappointments that you've experienced, like I say, up until now. Because now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the time for God to do something amazing in your life. But you got to make that decision. Separate yourself and get in alignment with God. Get, get, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, get in, the, in the closet with God. Shut everything out and begin to give God glory that God is powerful and there is nothing impossible for God to do. And I promise you, as you do this, you will begin to see God move in your life in ways you've never imagined. Blessings and breakthroughs will begin to happen in your life and you'll start wondering, oh my God, where has this been all along? Well, it's always been there, but we get blinded by the situations and the mess and everything, the chaos and the, the drama of life. May God bless you. Thank you for being here today. Bye, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people. I go see you now, later.